Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Megan to carefully craft Archie and Lily moments to deflect from Spotify bloodbath. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to Meghan's home state, California, last year after stepping down from their duties as working members of the firm. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed a multi-year contract with Netflix and Spotify in 2020 as one of the first steps in their post-royal careers. The Sussexes are among Spotify's most notable audio personalities, and in a news release, Spotify said the pair will host and produce podcasts that build community through shared experience, narratives, and values. However, since then, the couple faced pressure to produce more content, as more than a year later, the only content to emerge from the pair is a 33-minute festive special that aired in December of 2020. One very special noteworthy name made a feature too, as right at the end you can hear baby Archie Mountbatten Windsor say his first recorded words. With Harry and Meghan urging him on, Archie spoke into the microphone and said, Happy New Year, a feat which resulted in lots of giggling and cheering from his parents. His feature was particularly poignant because despite their link to one of the most famous families in the world, Harry and Meghan tend to keep their family life quite private. A few anecdotes about the children have been shared by their parents, but otherwise, Lily and Archie are relatively sheltered from public life. In fact, Royal Watchers only got their first glimpse of baby Lily when Meghan and Harry released their 2021 Christmas card photo. However, reputation expert and Royal commentator Eric Schiffer claims the public can expect to see more of Lily, who celebrates her first birthday in June, and her brother this year. He adds that their choice helps deflect the perception away from their Spotify bloodbath, while also reminding the public of their links to the firm. However, work on the Archwell Audio podcast appears to be going as last month's Spotify partner Gimlet Projects advertised for a team of three producers to work on the show. The three products are to be hired on short-term six-month contracts, suggesting the project could be released imminently. Mr. Schiffer commented on this for Newsweek, saying, They've been facing pressure to deliver on the Spotify deal. The move by Spotify is likely to bolster what Meghan and Harry's team has been able to do and assist them in execution, given the significant shortage of quality content to date. Recently, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan also expressed their concern to Spotify about COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. Thank you guys for watching today's headline. Go ahead, like, comment and subscribe for more juicy royal news. Goodbye for now.